That's a fine horse you got there. Thanks. All right. Be well now. You take care now. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? I don't know. You have any idea of the hole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why's it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. You know what I'd do to thieves? You've got your money. Oh, Leave me alone. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. Maybe it's you should think about the kinds of men you're friendly with, miss. You've got your money. I don't have to listen to your wisdom, all right? Go on. Stop running like a damn no, fool. No, no. Think this through, you fool.
rows of teeth. All right, then. Let's make this quick. <laughs> There we go. You chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I want to talk to that fella over there. Now, I'm just here to work for the season. Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the green horn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. I don't want any more. Yeah. in my pocket. God dang it. This map will take you to the money. Lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. I knew I shouldn't have borrowed. Yep. 
Listen up, this is my camp. Get lost. Just Stop minding being... my own business. You thought twice, huh? I'm done talking. <laughs> ah!
That's exactly what I've been looking for. <laughs> well, hey there, partner. Come take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. There you go. Easy now. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. 
Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nye, nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Ah! Nie, nie. Klestein. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. No, I have money, but, but I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. It's very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Don't even speak English. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Better be something somewhere. Should about cover things. What you got behind there? So, uh, Move aside. Oh. 
more, girl. Whatever you say. He bloody well loves me, do you know? He bloody well does. Of course. Of course he does. What exactly are we talking about? Damn you! Damn all you! You ain't so smart. You little trollop. Trollops! Hello, Miss O'Shea. What is it, Arthur? Give me strength. What are we gonna do with her? I can think of a few things. <laughs> I'm sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, nobody's serving girl, Mr. Morgan. Well, we all need to do our share. Just leave me be! Put on some warmer clothes, friend. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I mean that. Okay. Be grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. When I was a little girl, I guess I hoped for... I don't know. I used to dream a lot. We all dreamt a lot. Then we grew into women. Saw what the world was for us. How little it values us. Cheer up. Smile. Try to forget about things. Okay. Either that or start crying so real hard. Nobody's stopping you getting out there making some money. Grimshaw is. Don't listen to her. Come on. Ain't that bad. What would you know about being a woman? Nothing. Forget I said anything. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Agnes. Come on, get it while it's hot! How you doing, Reverend? I'm okay. I made a fool of myself again. Hey, Arthur! What you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Oh, only when I see you. <laughs> it ain't nothing personal. Sure seems that way to me.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. You got a fever or something? I, it's too cold to dress like that. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. We should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. Now, don't get disheartened. I've been working on this. Shit. Be careful. Now, watch this.
gonna last? Arthur. Hey there, Jack. Look, everything's gonna be all right. I know. You'd be good now.
partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Watch out. Me? You're the other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Easy. Look where you're going. now what things this place the gang been here a few weeks now good i think better i figured more folks would have cut and run on us given everything that happened like dutch always says a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains he does like to trot that one out people see that especially when they get a few years on them even someone like micah there's a couple of folks i wish had cut and run Maybe they say the same about... Hey, hey Mr. let's keep it... That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. 
I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> with pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Yep. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name... My name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I've been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? You think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford the Third? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I thought a religious man <laughs> respects them as assets, but I got something better, way better than church. And twice as usual. Free! Final alignment. What? Final alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or who, whomever built it. Our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Come, sir. I can fix that for you. Just ten or fifteen sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey is whiskey is this part of the problem. You ever meet a Scot who can hobble in old age? But the English stand cold, sir. Gin! They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. Whereas your whiskey, made with grain as it is, leaves the spine brittle. Hence your hobbling chop. Please. Stay down here a little. Won't take long. I was worse than you, sir. I was...
You done, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yeah. What the hell's going on out here? Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. us riding out. Uh, I guess I should have tried leaving the back way. Too late now. Yep.